Hello my people and welcome back to J6 Flips. It's a Tuesday here in the San Fernando Valley, which means it's discount day at Hope of the Valley. And we've got some money to spend for the Flipping for Hope Challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit up the local Granada Hills store and hopefully find some things to flip. Um, obviously we can't sell things that aren't listed and we can't list things that aren't bought. So let's go buy some things. Back at Hope of the Valley. They're already open. It's 9.01 right now. Let's see what we can find. So I'm seeing a lot of Easter stuff. Well, these seem like run of the mill stuff you can get anywhere, but this one's unique. Only a little bit of tearing. If you look inside, it says made in Germany. Nestler. So looking at the comps, it doesn't look too crazy, but there is one that stands out. This 14 inch, that's probably 14 inch. It's kind of, I can't tell if it's like that or, but 50 for that one. The other ones are all like 10. Okay, so 14 is worth more. Nothing's selling, so I'm just gonna leave it. It's too big, it's gonna be weird to ship. Still likely over a pound. Cool though. We got these. They just keep popping up. Riviera, Cafe Noir, Lighthouse, Delmonico. That's four. Someone donated their collection. Look at this old hat from the old trusty hat rack. Twilight Zone. 1993 CBS. It's a good hat. It's a good find. They know it. They priced it up, but 25% off day, so. At least a little discount on it. It's cool though. It's a new hat. Still got the lining in here. Hawkins Merchant. CBs. Feels a good quality. New with tags, four bucks. That'd be three. Uh, I'll look up comps now. There's like a weird zone where I can't use my phone in here, but I'll move it to the area. Oh, never mind. This is dirty. Shout out to the Cincinnati picker and my boy Leli. Okay, so I just grabbed these volleyball shoes out of the women's section. Very clean, good bottoms. You just pick out all those little rocks and it'll be good to go. Just happened to be walking through the clothes and saw this cool patch. Maddox brand, small jacket. Five bucks with a 25% off after that. I have to get this. This cool Brooks shirt. Let me turn around, maybe get some light here. Three bucks, extra large. Okay, so here are these Oakley snow pants. They're in good condition. The only thing is these just bottom parts a little frayed. But at 15 bucks, I'm pretty sure they can sell for at least 40 bucks, even with the fray on it. Maybe more during the winter. Yeah, these are in great condition. I'm about to take these. All right, so believe it or not, I just sold that Twilight hat on the way out from the store. There was a guy walking around kind of stalking me a little bit. You could tell he was looking at my cart and seeing what was good in there. Um, and that Twilight Zone hat, I think I paid like seven bucks for it or something. He asked me what I would sell it for. Um, and I just told him, you know, 20 bucks straight out the door and we'll just make it happen. So instead of holding on to it, I already tripled my money on that alone. So I uh, appreciate that. And definitely, uh, he followed me on Instagram too. Let me give him a little quick shout out here. I like Jiggy shit is his uh, Instagram handle, so give him a follow as well. Um, but yeah, easy quick flip, and then the rest of the goods are in the bag here, so. Okay, so we're back home, looking over the receipt real quick. Spent $44.89. Um, that's gonna take away, actually, one of these items. It was, I believe, $4.99. Take that out, the inside's all shredded. I'll show you the inside of the jacket now. The inside's, like, all shredded. Can't sell it, but I'm definitely gonna wear it still, so. 
uh, I'll wear it till the freaking threads fall off. But there's that. So subtract that five, that'll be 40. And then I sold that hat for 20. So I pretty much spent $20 for everything we bought today that not counting the hat. So nice little sourcing trip, should be big profits. So we're back at Hope of the Valley. It's Thursday now. It's actually a little bit later, 9.45. So let's see if we can find something good. Obviously we're just here, so it's gonna be a lot of similar things, but this box is awesome. The weight on it's good. There's an inscription in there, or it's engraved, or... It's an interesting sign. Uh, 10 bucks though, or 12 bucks. 11 bucks. I don't want to deal with it. It's gonna be weird to ship. Probably won't be worth much more than that. I guess I gotta do my due diligence though. But there are other ones for sale, but it has a blackboard or a chalkboard that's supposed to go with it. So I don't have that. Check this piece out. Jim Beam surfboard. 60 bucks. 2009. What would that be? 45 bucks? Here though, it's actually ruined right there. It's cool, but I don't know how to ship that. I don't want to deal with it. What are the chances? The exact same game, and it's working. You see the lights there. Oh, that's a sound. Seven bucks though. Yeah, not worth it at that. It was better when it was five for the whole thing. I'm just gonna leave it. Second time I'm passing off on that. I hope I don't regret that. Okay, so I just saw this thing. It's called Ting. Kind of looks like the Ring logo. Wi Fi. The future of fire safety. Got some info in here. I mean. Okay, some of the prices are a little wild, but I think it's worth more than three dollars. Safe to say that. Fifty-two, brand new, brand new. Pre-owned, thirty, forty. So I'll take a risk on that, especially for looking for Hope Challenge. That's a pickup. Okay, so I found these Disney. So you see Mickey and the duck. Goofies around here on the slide, hanging around. So that was easy to search, so just search hanging around. And these came up. There's the flat sheet and then the fitted sheet. But there's seven bucks here and I think only one sold. So maybe on a different day, but I need just things to sell. So I was about to head out and I quickly just ran by the shoes again and I see these weird looking Nikes. Kind of have like a, they're really worn down. This one's probably a little bit cleaner. But I was very surprised with the pumps. Now are they in good enough shape to get? The bottoms are in great shape. I just don't know how worn these are or how it's supposed to look. Like someone's really gave these, wore these out pretty good. And it's leather though, feels like it, because it's just already molded itself. I think the colors are off a little bit. Hmm. I think I have to get these and just see if I can make them uh, look good enough to sell. So this Callaway golf polo looks cool, it's very, Airy, obviously. There's this tiny mark here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera there, but that can come out. And at five bucks, be like what, three seventy-five? Gotta get it. All right, another polo. This is Polo Ralph Lauren medium, classic fit. Definitely worth more than five. What, twenty-five? Here's some bigger items. 
Summer I was selling a line for 100, this is 150. And the kombucha kits for 30. That's also selling for 30 online, so that's not a flip. Surprisingly enough, the lady at the register actually recognized me. Um, she said she saw it on Instagram, the Flipping for Hope Challenge, and is uh, rooting for me. So hopefully we can help the people out. And uh, yeah, another solid trip. Okay, folks, so it's a few days later. Obviously, we had a great trip out there the other day. Sourced some good items for the Flip for Hope Challenge. Hopefully, it'll get us closer to getting that, that uh, tiny home for someone in need or some people in need. Um, yes, the hat could have probably drawn more if I, you know, cleaned it, listed it, photographed it, uh, went through the whole process of selling it, shipped it out, all that process. But again, one of them sold for 40. There was one listed for 50 and another one for 70, but those are cleaner versions of what I had. So I, of course, took the triple my money option. So. Um, I'm happy with that option, but would you guys have kept on or held on to it? Would you have asked for more? What would you guys have done with a with a hat like that, where someone approaches you in in the location and tries to buy it out of your pretty much out of your basket? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, while you're down there, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. I believe more than half the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Um, I appreciate you watching anyways, whether you're subscribed or not. But it definitely helps me out if you are subscribed, and you can see when I'm posting my next videos. So definitely stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, as always, I really do appreciate you guys watching and uh, catch you guys on the next one.